Welcome back. For those of you who saw the first video, I'm in the process of restoring the first stronghold I've ever discovered. I found it when I entered this chasm, and as you can see, I've made a few changes since the first video. The first video outlined what it looked like when I found it, lots of fragmented walls and missing floors. Here's what it looks like so far. My goal was to restore the stronghold to a functional, usable structure without making significant changes to what I think the original layout was. My assumption is that strongholds get built and then broken as part of the rendering process, but it could be that they just randomly throw pieces together. Either way, I tried to stitch all of those random pieces together in the most logical way, making as few changes as possible and preserving the original aesthetic while making a usable space. I used lots and lots and lots of stone bricks, uh, and let's show you what it looks like. I quickly discovered that the stronghold could basically be divided into five areas. An end portal section, which is where we are now, a central keep, a wing that uh, originally had a bunch of jail cells that I converted into bedrooms, and then two lower levels. So let's see how that all fits together. You'll notice that everything has a sign. If you decide you want to restore a stronghold, the first thing you'll notice is how quickly you get lost. I highly recommend making about 20 signs and you're going to make 20 or 30 more, carrying them with you and labeling everything. Even if you eventually change the labels, it will make it much easier to figure out where you are. This room I didn't make significant changes to. Uh, the end portal apparently is typically intact. The one change that I made was I put in a skylight that goes all the way to the surface and shines directly down on the end portal. I like the aesthetic. The, something that's unique to the end portal room are these windows with iron bars as the window filler. And I really liked that aesthetic, so I decided to duplicate it throughout the stronghold. One advantage to punching holes in the stronghold and creating windows was that it freed up a lot of these neat cracked stone bricks that I could use in other places to fill in gaps and preserve the general look. The strongholds, once you enclose them, are very claustrophobic, lots of small, tight corridors. So digging in a window, carving out the stone behind it, sticking in a couple torches, and then putting up a couple iron bars really opens up the room. It also makes it easier to figure out where you are when you're looking at the stronghold from the outside. So this wing is the end portal wing. It has the end portal, this long hallway, and a really nice two-story library that I stuck some windows in as well. It connects to what I labeled the fountain courtyard, which is part of what I view as the main keep. It connects to that lower wing down there. It has a room off of it that I dedicated to my kitchens, food preparation. A section here where I created a warehouse. You can see I haven't filled in stone bricks everywhere. In some places I just tossed up cobblestone to get an idea of what the place should look like. And I will eventually replace that with stone bricks. There's still a lot of work to be done, but the structure is now finished. So I made a lower warehouse for materials and then a workroom and several exits out into the cavern and the area where I'm gradually excavating the entire stronghold. Although I'm on creative mode now to show you the place, I've been doing all of this on SMP. This is basically the way I found it. I did close off a doorway here, actually turned it into a window. You may remember me mentioning, remember this room? This was a big open cavern very hard to piece together. This is what I came up with. It seemed like the perfect place for a nether portal. Created a little bedroom for myself in here. Nice view out over the rest of the stronghold or other parts of the stronghold. And then what I thought was the highest point, actually I have a second library that's a little higher, but I finished out this tower. You may remember me showing it to you in the first video opened it up all the way to the sky and created an exit and that's my main entrance and exit from the surface into the stronghold. So the, again the end portal is back that way and my workrooms are that way and that fountain courtyard is that way. Another portal here. Finish this out and use it to create ore or to create ingots from ore and to transform stone into stone bricks. 
I hung that little chandelier here. I think I'll replace it with a wooden one like the one in the library eventually. So this is the, the additional wing that was originally all jail cells. I finished out the jail cells, stuck doors on them, made them into bedrooms, and I discovered a couple of things. One was that if I knocked out a, a wall, it all connected. So I could go in circles. All the way through, and you see I have room for more bedrooms here, room for more bedrooms here. Again, label everything. The other thing I realized was there was room to put a courtyard in the center. So you can actually look into it from Jane's room here. Put a little fountain and a couple of trees. Eventually, I'll try and get some grass to grow. But these are the things you discover as you punch holes in walls and look around room labeled the Grand Archives, and I have realized some of the names are pretentious, but it did help me keep the room straight. I stuck a brewing stand, a couple chests for potions, and an enchanting lab. Made a room for my son. He's been a huge help in this project. And then here's the second library, and as you can see, I put windows in here as well. I really like that chandelier uh, that comes automatically in the libraries, or at least in the library. You can see how the windows open up the room. So, uh, bedrooms back here arranged in a square. And then from here I can also get to the room I, or the area I labeled the dungeon, one of the two lower areas that I finished out. I wanted to have somewhere where I kept the original jail cells because I liked the look. Uh, they actually have iron doors uh, when you first find them, and mine are facing the wrong way. I haven't place them yet. They only open from the outside. I'll stick a couple of those on. There's a west wing to the dungeon. I kept a couple of those additional cells as well. Couldn't figure out what to call this, so I named it the warden's office. You see it's a nice room that I can find some use for, I'm sure. Lots of cavern e exits. I labeled them all alphabetically, and they're labeled on the outside as well, so that I can find my way from the outside and figure out where I am relative to the actual stronghold. And that finishes out the dungeon. So we've explored the guest quarters, the main hall, the dungeon, and the end portal area. One last area to look at off of that fountain courtyard, and it's actually surprisingly massive. I kept getting lost in it. See, it is easy to get lost. The wrong turn. Go back to here. Back to the fountain courtyard. There's our kitchens on the right. End portal is down that way in that other library. Here's the area I labeled the lower wing. Here's the lower hall. To your right is the column court. Straight ahead is a entrance to the basement and the sub-basement. Alright, so this leads to the basement, which is here, a large area for storage. And I actually, it took me a long time to realize uh, there's another cavern entrance, that this is very close to the end portal as well. The end portal you can see right over there. Those are the steps leading up to it, it's to the right. This is the area I labeled the sub-basement. When I finished it out, it's a massive room. I plan to use it for storage. Right, again, signs everywhere. Very helpful. That'll take me back up to that fountain courtyard. I labeled this area holding cells. And this exit actually shows you how close you are to the end portal. One last section here. This uh, lower, what I labeled the lower wing, was really massive. It had a, several fragmented areas that I decided really weren't restorable, and so I just converted those into uh, bricks that I used to restore other sections. This was already here. This column, and I labeled this the column court. There's another cavern entrance room. I labeled the guest suite, double bedroom, perfect mother-in-law suite. There, well away from the rest of the keep. And then another massive section that I labeled the treasury. I haven't really found anything to do with all of these rooms, so I again gave them pretentious names. 
nevertheless. Lots and lots of room. Plenty of opportunities for storage. And that's our tool. Let me tab you over. For those of you who want to see what it looks like from above, here's a view using the DyneMap Craft Bucket plugin. This is that chasm where we came in. That's where it breaks the surface. And here is the end portal room with the shaft of light coming down up to the surface. So here's that first library off that long hallway. And the work area where the workbenches and storage and then the foundry are all along here. Uh, the end portal is going to be right in here. This is that shaft that I created all the way to the surface for entering and exiting. The tower itself is underneath this and the end portal is here. Uh, the enchanting lab and uh, brewing stand are right here. That second library is here. Uh, John Francis's room here and then that the rooms, you can't see the courtyard in the center, I think because of the stone over, but those guest quarters are all along here. Then the uh, lower wing uh, actually comes off of that fountain courtyard down here, and the dungeon comes down here. So these are all of the rooms off of the dungeon. And then uh, if you look here and here, off of that lower wing, Lower wing comes down, there is the basement, and there's the massive sub-basement. You can see how that sort of points back to the end portal. To get a sense of just how massive the structure is, you can see that it goes from down here and over here and up here to over here and over here. It's a, an enormous structure. The island itself looks like this now that I've finished it out, and it... The stronghold is basically under this area. 